Yo what's up guys, it's Vader and as promised in the previous video I'm going to be showing you guys a look at the TB League Fire Seam Body, the um, super flexible um, super flexible bodybuilder sculpt and this body is specifically designed I guess for like Arnold Schwarzenegger type um, characters like obviously like Terminator, Commando, Predator, um, Term um, obviously Terminator as well. I think I mentioned Terminator, but yeah, it's kind of like those um, types of bot um, movies that you want this body for because it's really super f um, flexible and that's like some of the poses there that you're basically allowed to get this guy and you can get him in basically any like pose possible. And this is like the old body now. I had, I've had this body a while, like since like 2010, that's the body that came obviously with the Dutch, but the arm over time is just, the what the arm that's basically got the peg, eh, not got the hand on, um, it's just basically like, over time, it's just basically like gave it up, and you can't actually bend it upwards, because when you try and bend it upwards, it, um, just goes back down again, it's, it just doesn't want to stay in the position anymore, it's as if the uh, the joint is actually like broke, up, broke off underneath the actual um, body, but it was a really, it is a really good body, like, I'm not like saying that the Hot Toys um, rubber body was bad or anything, it, it just happens over time to like stuff like these, where it like, you move it up and it just like, um, you basically you leave in a position for so long, the joints um, will get like um, creased and stuff, and they can it can actually like damage the actual um, rubber as well. But I never really had it in that um, those kinds of poses for too long. These are some of the actual hands that you get with the um, the new body that I'm um, going to be showing you guys shortly. So you get two fisted hands, like, and then two relaxed hands, and I guess two kind of gun holding hands without the triggers, or you can like make them like holding like a sword or something. And this is like the instructions that you get with this body. I forgot to mention um, there's like two things as well that you get with this fig um, with this body. It's basically like um, male genitals. You get one that's <laughs> you get one that's like erect. It's like really fucking weird. Somebody has a, a bit too much time on their hands to make shit like that. But yeah, it is what it is. Like I knew kind of going in that I, I may be like maybe like one of those bodies where you get like that kind of shit. But like I'm not obviously gonna have them with that on. I'm gonna like have them like with the um the stuff back on them. And I will say one thing about this um, figure, the material that the um, actual rubber is made out of is like a really weird rubber. Like it feels so smooth, it's like kind of like, I don't know how I would describe it, it's like one of those like really really soft rubbers that you would like get, but I also heard as well that it's like the way that the uh, material actually is, like the rubber, it's actually the same rubber that they use for like, like fucking adult toys or some shit. Like it's like that kind of rubber, and it it feels it feels really weird to touch it, and then it get like it gets a little bit sticky as well, and it was actually really difficult getting the clothes back on them. But as you can see. It's so worth it in the end. Like, I, I had to basically take the belt off them. I've still put that back on them, but you can't really like see it that much anyway when you've got the actual other part of them. But I just need to get all that stuff put back on them. And yeah, he holds a pose much better than the um, the other one. My only little gripe with this figure, um, well, with the body, should I say, is I don't think it matches the head. It's the head, it's the, um, when you look at it from the back, you're obviously not really looking at it from the back, the, um, the head sculpt's like a total different, um, colour, but when you're, like, looking at it face on, it doesn't look too badly, like, um, like, it does kind of match it a little bit, but, like, 
there are some parts where it, it doesn't, but it's, that's not really a, an issue because I love this um, body and I'm happy that I actually ended up going with it because I had been putting it off for so long to actually do it um, because of the fact that like I know that the Hot Toys um, seamless bodies, like the one that I had for obviously Dutch, they go for like crazy amounts of eBay, uh, money on eBay and like you can clearly see like the um, the definition on the actual arms are like night and day and the hands as well that they, I think it may be the hands like looking at it now it could be the hands that are a different kind of um, tone to the actual um, body because the head actually looks fine on that body it's just the ear it's just like when you like look at the paint like some of the camouflage paint on them it works with the body but like parts of his face that actually don't like have that much camo like I'm noticing his nose is like a different colour but it's not really that big an issue honestly if, if you guys own oh yeah forgot as well Bane the Tom Hardy Bane and I guess 4 Chris Hensworth 4 would be really good for this body. I actually plan on getting another one of these bodies because I'm thinking of doing the same with my um, Viking Toys Jin Kazama figure from Tekken because um, the body I'm actually noticing is getting a little bit loose and it can't really hold the, the pose very well but this, because this is actually an actual metal um, body not a, sorry, not a metal body. It's like a net, a metal skeleton underneath, like the rubber. So you can like you you wouldn't like have to like worry about it like breaking over time because it's like it's not plastic underneath it like how the um, the Hot Toys one was. It's actually a a metal um, skeleton underneath it, and it looks amazing. Like I was really impressed with like how it actually looks. Um, outside and stuff, and like the actual natural light. I might actually go out again and take some um, little um, pictures again. Maybe put them on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm really happy that I eventually did do this. My only concern, if you're actually going to be doing this with like a figure like Dutch, is trying try and take everything off of them off of like the actual um, the um, the camouflage uh, trousers that he was like try and take all the, like, the little gear and stuff off them because that helps a lot when you're trying to like get it back on them but they actually came with these little um, shorts as well shorts and socks as well or like wrist guards but anyway guys, it's coming to the end of the video, I hope you've enjoyed a look at this TB League fire scene muscular flexible body and yeah, I'm going to be trying to make other videos as well that I'll be coming up as well on the channel. So as ever guys, thank you so much for watching, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers guys, thanks.